the time to be with us this, uh, this morning as we discuss a very important issue for our state as we move forward to ensure that every Nevada is counted in the 2020 census. Before I get started, I'd like to acknowledge a few folks that are with us today. Most of them are standing behind me. Uh, thank you to Lieutenant Governor Kate Marshall, Secretary of State Barbara Sagaski, State Treasurer Zach Conine, Majority Leader Nicole Canazaro, Speaker Jason Ferguson, Senate M Minority Leader James Settlemeyer, Assembly Minority Leader Jim Wheeler for joining us today for this event. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge the members of the legislature here today for their work on the Complete Count Committee. Thank you for your commitment to ensuring that every Nevadan is counted. I'd also like to thank Emily Zamora of Silver State Voices, who will speak in a few minutes about the importance of counting our diverse communities in the state of Nevada. In a few minutes, I'll be signing an executive order to, to establish Nevada's Complete Count Committee, which will oversee all outreach and coordination among public and private sector organizations in the state to ensure and encourage Nevadans to participate in the 2020 Census. Today is significant because we are exactly one year out from Census Day, April 1st, 2020, and that's not April Fool's Day. <laughs> The day that the U.S. Census Bureau will record where each person in the country lives. The census is essential to ensure that the federal government is meeting the needs of all of its people, allocating federal dollars equitably, determining the correct number of seats in the U.S. House of Representatives each state will receive, and updating the boundaries for congressional and state legislative districts to account for population shifts which occur over time. Nevada has experienced a population boom in recent years, which is why it's more important than ever that each and every Nevadan be counted. From July 2010 to July 2018, Nevada has added over 300,000 people to its population. That's a growth of over 12%. From 2017 until 2018, Nevada was the fastest growing state in the country with a 2.1% increase in population. Our population is incredibly diverse, which is why it's important to ensure everyone is counted so we can make sure federal dollars go towards the communities where needed, is needed the most and those communities that are often undercounted, which Emily will talk about a little bit in a few minutes. At stake this sentence are more than $675 billion in federal funds grants and support the states, counties, communities, all based on census data. That money goes towards schools, hospitals, roads, public works, and other vital and essential programs. Nevada will rely on the 2020 census to determine funding needs for infrastructure projects, economic development programs, job training, schools, and other activities which will occur over the next decade. And there's a lot at stake. For example, for fiscal, in fiscal year 2016, Nevada received over $6.2 billion from the federal government based on its 2020 census count. Some of these vital programs and the numbers associated with them, $2.6 billion for Medicaid, $681 million for SNAP and WIC, which provides nutrition assistance for low-income families, single mothers, and children. $120 million for Title I grants to local school districts. $357 million for highway planning and construction. And that is just the beginning. On the flip side, Nevada risks losing out on tens of millions of federal dollars if our population is undercounted in the 2020 census. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services distributes five major grant programs based directly on census count. These include Medicaid, CHIP, foster care, and adoption assistance, and child care assistance to low-income families. Just a 1% undercount can have a drastic effect on our funding for these critical programs. A 1% larger undercount during our 2010 census would have meant a loss of nearly $17 million for these five HHS programs in 2015 alone. That would extrapolate to $170 million per decade 
for essential health care and child welfare programs. We simply can't afford to leave any household uncounted. Success depends on the census and a complete and accurate count of every Nevadan. It depends on community involvement at every level. That's why I am establishing today the Nevada Complete Count Committee. Complete Count Committees are volunteer committees established by tribal, state, and local governments, community leaders, and organizations to increase awareness and motivate residents to respond to the 2020 Census. The committee will work to develop a complete count to include proposed education, outreach, and promotional activities for Nevada Census as well as funding needed to ensure a complete count as possible of all Nevadans, including strategies to reach hard to count populations and areas. Over the next 17 months, Nevada's committee will oversee the state's entire complete count effort to ensure that every Nevadan is counted. Every community is adequately represented in our state legislature and in Congress and every dollar Every dollar goes towards funding services for Nevada's communities. And to demonstrate my commitment to ensuring that every Nevadan is counted in this 2020 census, we have included $5 million in our budget for Nevada's complete count efforts. And with that, I will now sign the executive order to create Nevada's complete count committee. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I'd, like to, I'd like to turn it over to our Lieutenant Governor, Kate Marshall. Thank you. Um, first off, this is a great honor and a great act that our governor is doing. I mean, the opportunity to be on this committee, and I want to thank you, Governor. Um, what you are doing here will have a lasting effect for Nevada for 10 years. And so what he's doing here by forming this committee to make sure that we as Nevadans, each and every one counts, is wonderful. And I'm honored to be here. Um, I want to introduce Emily Zamora because she is really going to be the person to reach out to every corner, every part of our community, regardless of where you live, regardless of your race, your gender, your socioeconomic status. This is all about Nevada Counts, Emily. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you to Governor Sisolak and Lieutenant Governor uh, Kate Marshall. Um, I'm so grateful that the statewide committee is being created today, and I'm honored to be part of this day and working with this committee in representing hard to count communities in the state of Nevada. And on behalf of the Silver State Voices and our Census Coalition, Nevadans Count. As we all know, an accurate count in the 2020 Census is vitally important to ensuring fair resource allocations and representation in our state. In the fiscal year of 2016, Nevada received over $6 billion for 55 federal programs based on census counts. These are programs that hard to count communities rely on each and every day, such as Medicaid, SNAP, federal uh, Pell Grants, and Head Start. Our communities cannot afford to be undercounted and underrepresented for the next 10 years as that will have a long time effect. Nevadans Count is a statewide convener for the Get Out the Count efforts across the state. We have partners with 16 organizations who collectively have decades of experience in the hardest to count communities, whether that's the immigrant community, people of color, the LGBTQ community. And together we are positioned to be the best messengers about uh, the 2020 census. We know that our communities are scared right now, 
by the political rhetoric as they hear on the news about what's going on with the census, but we want them to know that it's safe to fill out the census um, and the impact that it's going to have on their community. The 2020 census is a nonpartisan issue and it's, surveyed, uh, it's a survey that's mandated by our US Constitution. Because of the great importance, I'm so excited to be a part of this commission and work with everyone here to ensure that everyone in Nevada is counted in the 2020 census. Thank you so much.